Oh, how the tables have turned. XRP and XLM investors. You're going to like this one. All we ever ask is if you like talking XRP, XLM, digital assets, getting updates, drop an X in the comment section below, smash the like button and share the content. Let others know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. As we see the SEC sparing XRP from Kraken as they crack down on crypto securities, Fireline says Daily Coin. Why? Because they just simply can't go after XRP. And what's so interesting, as they take a look at Algorand, Filecoin, and others that they are calling securities, do you ever see XLM in there? No, no, you don't. You do see the DOJ coming out and publicly talking to the nation, America, right, with the CFTC right next to them, which we know have Stellar on the board there. Talk about that in a little bit more here in a second. We did touch on this yesterday in a video about the CFTC is making friends while the SEC is getting sued and suing. Now, $300 trillion market by 2030. This was a grayscale report, came out, outlined Ripple as a dominant player involving simplifying the complex global payment network. So as we push swift out of the way and say, look, traditional old system out of the way, time to bring in a Ferrari, you can see huge increases in price appreciation with XRP, XLM, obviously, if we get a large sum of this market, even if we get a small sum. We've got an analyst coming out and this article just came out on CoinGate saying, increase of up to 5,000% possible driving up to a $25 XRP. A lot of people are saying an eight to $10 XRP in this upcoming bull run about mid uh, 2024 is what they're looking at. I'm looking for higher than that because we see what's happening. I don't expect ETFs to be the all in, end all be all right, but I do expect a lot of funds to come in now we are seeing XRP ETFs or ETPs rather being created. What will that do with the likes of their other partnerships, right? Uphold being able to settle international payments for businesses along with getting a large share of the CBDCs. I get it. There's evil there too, but getting a large global share. What will that do to XRP and XLM? All beautiful stuff in my personal opinion. So Grayscale, yes, endorsing Ripple XRP. We know XRP coming out with B2M feature, enhancing transaction security, signal, signaling a potential surge in XRP could potentially go well beyond $25 is what they are saying. Look, a lot of people are, are forgetting that it isn't just what has been built, it's what's being built. We know we have AMAs. We know that we are constantly enhancing the system, making a more efficient system. And the partnerships are just kind of like the cherry on top because the innovation is happening. The innovation is happening. The building on top of these blockchains what XRPL is doing as well as Stellar is doing is happening. We talk about tokenization of assets, real uh, world assets, RWAs, right? As well as gold actually coming onto the XRPL. What happens when trillions come on and become digitalized, excuse me. Beautiful things in my personal opinion. So again, yes, $300 trillion payment sector by 2030 is what we are looking at. And lastly, I do wanna talk a little bit about price successfully surging past important resistance. XRP has recently navigated past that 26 day EMA, a technical resistance that often poses a challenge to sustaining upward trends. And so we are looking very bullish at this point in time. Based off this, I did buy a little bit more. I understand we could go lower and I'm always putting a little on the side, some dry powder to get ready. I'm not piling thousands in to XRP and XLM on the day, but if we get a significant dip, I'll have a little bit on the side. And this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I could tell you that anything under a dollar is a steal, is a bargain, my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your comments, all that good stuff in the comments section below. Drop an X in the comments section below. Smash that like button so we know that you like this content. Share it, and we'll see you all in the next video.